yeah, we're here in the boardroom because uh, training season is upon us. I went and checked out a project I've had a tip off for. It's flipping amazing. It's really hard, like really hard. You end up backhanding like a slopey undercut rail. You get to a point where you like contort and your face goes in your elbow and you have to cross over. The bit of climbing I did when I fell off the easy section on the top probably was the hardest section of climbing I'd done. Back on home turf, I'm here in my family home in the Lake District. Well, this isn't my house. This is my boardroom next to my family home. Could actually live in here. Wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> yeah, back from Switzerland. Long trip to Switzerland. I was there for like 11 weeks. Pretty full on. Really actually excited to be back in the UK. And I've been really looking forward to exploring a lot of like UK projects. First day out climbing when I got back uh, from Switzerland. I went and checked out a project I've had a tip off for on Helvellyn, which is literally 10, 15 minute drive from my house. It's flipping amazing. It's really hard, like really hard. It's like really crimpy, but like you can't just rely on that alone. There's a lot to coordinate. It's got hard heel hooks. It's like a very complex boulder problem. And I've had about five sessions on it and still have a couple of the moves to do. So it's like, it feels really hard. And so it's quite cool to like, go away for so long looking for these like kind of projects that feel next level for me and then to come home and find that on your doorstep it's quite special oh god it's lovely <laughs> <laughs> it's like because usually i'm fingerboarding and i'm like what am i looking at but it's like mindfulness this thing <laughs> just left with your own thoughts oh well, that's, that's not me that's not so nice <laughs> get out of there dude God. <laughs> At least the bright light counteracts all that darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start incorporating some new warm ups. Maybe like this. This. Foot on the grey into this. Then I use this a non grey one. Jump into this. Roll over to slopey. She climbed kind of well. <laughs> I actually think the way you always consistently warm up will play a lot into your like natural movement patterns. So I've always been like quite slow and controlled in my warm up problems. And so I'm kind of like trying to introduce a bit of snatchiness in the hope that it'll make that kind of movement pattern a bit more natural to me. Sundial, basically a climb I did last July, is a really good one in Lagan in the Cairngorms in Scotland. The day I did Sundial, scouted out the sit start project. It's quite a blank face, there's not loads of features on it. It creates like a really unique sequence that I can't really see many alternatives to. So essentially, you end up backhanding like a slopey undercut rail and you get to a point where you like contort and you like your face goes in your elbow and you have to cross over and like it's actually really hard to see the other hold because you're out like your arm gets in the way and it's like a very contorted position that's very shoulder intensive i thought i'd set a replica to train that shoulder position Because it's so flat, the real thing, you like kind of, and the right hand bad, you like slap it with a straight arm. And because both of the holds are quite flat, you can't like really like dig into them to like kind of move the weight that much. You've got to like, 
basically it really loads your right tricep. That's good. I'm missing a trick. It's just gonna be a trick and then it's gonna feel easy. It's like, um, so much is trying so hard that it's hard to pinpoint what's trying. <laughs> like, you fall off and you're like, That was good. Get the bod firing. Low foot into this one. Higher foot, get this, and then you have the undercut and this. And I thought this move looked good. Generally, whenever I make up a boulder, it's always really ambitious. This one doesn't look too ambitious, but I always think that. <laughs> oh God, already. No, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Hang on a minute. That was kind of the difficulty I wanted. Okay, that's a good move. Like a proper like whoop. Um, what, what was that? Proper whoop. Oh, 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 oh. Did you ever have those? Huh? Did you ever have those? You know the things where you, you turn them and he goes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they're like they're like cows. They sound like cows. Yeah. Well, they. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a cow one. <laughs> I like that one though. That one sounds good. That's what they sound like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it sound like. <laughs> that's what that move is. Like, in, like, it's not one of the harder problems, but like, it's a harder medium, but more medium hard. Yeah, like, you do it in a session, it can't be that hard. You did three goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, it can't be that hard. A session. <laughs> the Midnight Project. It was shown to me the first day I ever visited Karanaka. It's right near the classic from Dirt Goes Flowers boulder. The rock's like almost like polished and slick and it basically follows a series of these like very narrow gas bubbles. 
you can't really get your fingers in them so you crimp the edges of them. So it's like a really finger intensive 30 degree face. I tried it at the start of my first trip there. The trip that I went in autumn when I did out Fane, I tried it a bit and like began to understand some of the moves and then knew at that point that I wanted to go back and like prioritize that as a project. It was one of the things I was most keen for. I absolutely sieged it this trip. The last like month of my trip, that was pretty much my sole focus. and ultimately I got pretty close. I dropped the kind of easy bit at the end. Kind of annoying, but there's lots of positives to it. The bit of climbing I did when I fell off the easy section on the top probably was the hardest section of climbing I'd done. My replica uses pretty much all of these, um, apart from you pull on with a foothold to hold. <laughs> a really close foot. Go to a little two finger intermediate to go again to this. Hot feet out to this narrow slot and then a really hard cut loose. And then a high and bad heel. I actually think this might be really hard. <laughs> you stop on this hold and then bump again into this slot. Take a cut, put your foot way out there, and then lock into that one. So, generally, when you set replicas, you make them way too hard. I'm pretty sure this is way too hard. I think you're making one up now, and like, uh... Uh, I had like some shoulder strength in mind and so I like had like an obvious like shoulder move that I had there's like two equally angled edges and I thought like a wide move into this would be quite good quite comfy holds and then I had a move in mind earlier where I thought it would be cool to uh, take a big swing on this quite good hold and I thought because um, it's quite positive um, and it, there's quite a few options around for like harder versions when it, if I, it's too easy or like I want like a slightly harder version of it. And then I like kind of was like, oh, I've had that move in mind. I had this move in mind. And then like I'll kind of create a problem which I think looks kind of like interesting moves and maybe different to other problems I have. Sometimes it's helpful not to tell people your plan. And then when you realize it's way too hard for you. <laughs> I don't know how ambitious you've been. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Prime example. <laughs> A slightly overcooked folder. Okay. Don't know if I wanted that move that hard. So basically, I don't want to just sack off that move. But. I feel like I can like make a progression into it by like choosing a different right hand that kind of like maybe like breaks the move into two a little bit and I can work to progress from that one. Nice, okay. That's good. That's still quite hard. you very close. <laughs> you could try and roll over to the middle. Would that be silly? Wow. That's good. Ugh. 
<laughs> that's alright, noob. <laughs> After all of that. Ah, oh, that's good though, I'm happy with that pop, that's a good pop. Oh uh, yeah, so Alphane right hand, where Alphane has maybe eight or nine moves before like the easier climbing where you shouldn't really fall off. This one has like 15. 